If you are subscribing to the Perplexity Pro subscription but not using the $5 of free credits of Perplexity API, then you are missing out because this credit, this API key from Perplexity is very useful. You can essentially create your own chatbot. You can adjust the temperature. You can adjust the token. You can adjust the model that it is being used. And it is way more customizable than the Perplexity web interface. But the question is, how do you use this API key? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can build a simple chatbot using perplexity web interface and then we are going to power the chatbot using perplexity api yeah that's quite interesting we are using perplexity to build perplexity anyway so i'm going to create a new thread here and basically we want to use perplexity to code the application now i'm going to be using this prompt and you can pause the video and then you can copy this and i will also put this video sorry i will put the prompt in the comment down below of this video and if you are a developer then you probably know how to adjust the prompting based on the kind of application that you are trying to build but if you're not a developer just follow this prompt and you should be good now i'm going to send this prompt to perplexity and it will generate the code that will form the application okay so it's very very quick but right now i think this code was generated by the default model in my perplexity account which is the sonar model now usually when it comes to coding gpt and cloud is a lot better so i'm going to rewrite this response to to be using cloud 3.5 sonnet and later we are going to copy the code we are going to preview it and by the way in, in case you're wondering the application the chatbot is going to look something like this this is just a mock-up it's not functional but uh, we are going to make it functional later so okay i think the code has been created okay it took quite some time for cloud but the code quality is usually a lot better than the sonar model okay it's still loading i guess we have to scroll down to the bottom to see if it finally done okay it's still writing yeah, the best part is that you don't have to be a developer. We can just prompt and then AI will provide the code for us and the application is basically ready. So this kind of thing is not possible just a few years ago, but now it is something that you can do easily. Okay, now the code is complete. It's still trying to finish the response, but the code is complete. Now I'm going to copy this, click on this button, and I'm going to visit this website, HTML edit square free.com so this is the url uh this is just for preview by the way this is not going to make your application functional uh, i just want to know uh, what the website is going to look like well it looks very similar to the previous version but uh you know it's, it's just a bit better but overall i think this is pretty good you can of course make some adjustment you can change the color you can ask perplexity to modify the code to include other features etc but basically the three key elements which is api key the model and the system prompt are present now what we need to do is we have to create an html file that we are going to open in a browser now you can go to your computer and then create a new file called index.html now i'm going to right click on my file explorer on windows click new and then select text document so let's call this one let's say chatbot it doesn't matter and open it now i'm going to paste the code that perplexity just generated and then you can click file and then click save i'm going to close this and after that we have to turn this text file into html now if you are on windows you can go to the view menu right here and enable file name extensions now you want to rename it you can right click and then click rename and you want to replace the .txt to .html so that's the format that is necessary just click yes and we can actually just drag and drop this file to the browser to any browser basically and there goes your application now we need to populate this with the api key if you want to get the api key you can navigate to your perplexity account go to settings and then go to api just wait now i still have one dollar of credit i think that's still good enough 
and if you haven't generated an API key you can click on this generate button but I already have an API key so I'm going to just copy it and then let's go to perplexity chat again click here and I'm going to right click paste the API key and now this is the system prompt you can modify it but I guess I'm going to be using just the default system prompt and I'm going to send some message hi how are you today let's send the message and we're just waiting the response from the perplexity api okay the user has okay that's very interesting answer but as you can see it is definitely an answer generated from ai from perplexity api uh, from sonar reasoning pro wow that's a very expensive model i do recommend using the sonar pro sorry the sonar regular okay so i'm going to try again let's ask a question about what is the latest ai news today let's send it all right i think that's good enough and yeah this is based on the internet it is browsing the internet just like regular perplexity web interface but this uh chatbot we can modify we can you can actually navigate to the documentation on perplexity api and you will see that a lot of things that you can customize you can click this here you can see that there are a lot of things that we can do like we can we can customize the temperature the domain filter a lot of things here but usually just the api key the model and the system prompt are good enough for most of the time so yeah that's basically it that's how you can use your perplexity api key and building the, uh, the chatbot using Perplexity web interface. But anyway, if you found this tutorial to be helpful, then please consider subscribing to this channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.